So for the longest time now, I have been desperately trying to figure out if there is a Bedrock version of Labymod that I could use. Spoiler, there wasn't. And for those of you who are curious as to why, Labymod had a GUI system that allowed the size and location of items in your inventory to appear differently. This was important to me due to one simple reason block party. You see, when the game picks a color for you, it sends the block to your hotbar at the bottom of your screen. The problem with this is that you have to take your focus away from the map. On top of that, the amount of focus required was kind of annoying due to how small the items in your inventory appeared, so ultimately, what I needed was something that made the items larger and closer to the middle of the screen, which is exactly what Labymod accomplished. Furthermore, I already had a resource pack that removed all the GUI from the HUD, which was great because it took away all the unnecessary information and left you with the only thing that you really needed, the block. But obviously, with Bedrock Block Party just around the corner and Labymod not being supported, the only thing I originally thought I could do was remove the HUD. But then, I had an epiphany. Can't I just change the location of the HUD and the scale of the items manually? Oh yeah, you can. But was it legal? Obviously, I was going to be streaming with it, so if a mod saw it and thought it was against the rules, I'd be banned on the spot, which was definitely something I did not want. And besides, editing any JSON file is always scary, so I went ahead and checked the website's Allowed Modifications tab. The closest thing to Allowed that matched what I was going for was the line talking about Minecraft's interface, and there wasn't any Denied Modifications matching either, so I figured it was fine. The first thing I had to do was figure out what file I even needed to edit in the first place, which by itself took around an hour. I kept messing with values on all sorts of files, but nothing was happening, until I came across the HUD screen file located in the UI folder of Minecraft's default resource pack. Download in the description, pictured here by the way. Make sure to extract all and put it in the com.mojang developmental resource packs folder. The first thing I found that worked was the hotbar slot selected image line, which I doubled for reference. Now the items were larger, but I still needed them to be closer to the center of the screen, and to save you guys the trouble, items and the hotbar are not linked, so all you need to concern yourself with is the offset for the hotbar bar chooser, which essentially takes all the items across your hotbar and moves them around. Now, obviously, you can see a few flaws in the system. For starters, the hotbar is now right in the middle of the screen, but it's not a problem for me because I made a separate resource pack that removes the hotbar entirely. Second, all of the other items are still there, but I also made another pack that straight up erases the picture itself so it won't appear. Another issue that might come up is which hotbar slot the item will appear in, but by changing the offset again, that won't be an issue. So yeah, this system may not be perfect, but it is the closest thing to what Labymod was. Make sure you save your work and give that resource pack the highest priority of any other packs. That's all, thanks for watching, and have a good one. Later, peoples.